launched as a newspaper a play in your life, in your community for decades before television and online subscriptions. It was the only way news got delivered. The many newspapers struggled just to survive, though with hundreds shutting down over the last couple of years. Our Washington correspondent Joe St. George shows how politicians are taking interest in papers again and are considering federal money just to keep them in business. Do you know what's being made here? Still can't guess it? It's a newspaper, and for millions of Americans, what comes from printing presses like this is how they like to get their news. Emphasis is on everything local. David Hedges is the newspaper publisher here in Roan County, West Virginia. He says publications like his are especially important in smaller communities. New middle school plans unveiled. For example, this week's edition is focusing on the new middle school that's being built. You won't find that story in the New York Times. People want and need information about their local community. But Hedges admits getting his weekly paper out isn't easy. Nationwide, since 2004, around 1,800 newspapers have simply shut down. More than 100 have stopped printing since the pandemic. Hedges this week is getting by because of ads like this. You know, not every week is a moneymaker. But there is an idea in Congress to save local papers. The Local Journalism Sustainability Act would create a tax credit to offset subscription costs. It would provide tax incentives for businesses to advertise with local news, not to mention a tax credit would be offered to media companies to pay for a portion of a reporter's salary. Full disclosure, the National Association of Broadcasters says local TV stations could be eligible for benefits too. Of course, the contrarian view is our small town papers like this worth saving. There has been a lot of assistance to a lot of people in a lot of industries. Don Smith is with the West Virginia Press Association and is lobbying Congress for a vote next year. He believes if help doesn't come soon, journalists like Dave Hedges and the papers they run will cease to exist. Hedges' wife is already running the newsroom, his son, the printing press. No one would be better off if their newspaper closed. In Spencer, West Virginia, I'm Joe St. George.